KristenAvalos.com transformational guide and I am here with your Aries new moon oracle card reading and I'm using a new deck for this reading. I'm actually using the Sacred Rebels oracle card deck by Alana Fairchild and I haven't worked a whole lot with this deck yet but um, I had a actually a really fun time with how these cards all work together and I really liked how their messages came through in the imagery of the cards. And so I sort of went through these cards and did um, a past card, a present card, and a future card. And so the first card that I chose was Conscious Connections. And the symbolism in this um, deck of cards, it's, not as complex as it is with the tarot, but I was kind of surprised when I did, went into it more deeply about how profound uh, what, what images that they had really, how profound it actually was. And so in this card, um, Conscious Connections, it's really speaking about where were to this point, um, you know, and it, this is something that started in, in the past of choosing the people that we want in our lives because they believe in, in us, they believe in what we believe in, they are um, sort of on the same wavelength almost as we are. And this card has, um, the first three cards that I pulled, there's a lot of, um, it's black and white with these pops of color or sort of shades of gray, not necessarily black and white. And so I think it's, it's really showing how now things aren't cut and dry. They really depend on the choices that we make and how those choices are those sort of pops of color. It's that, that, consciousness of we can actually choose the way this plays out. And you see at the side here, there's these um, koi fish and they're, they're orange and white. And orange is um, a color that's symbolic of standing out and non-conformity. And the koi fish is also symbolic of that as well. And so when you think of the color orange, um, something that might come to mind is prisoners in jumpsuits and a prisoner would be wearing a jumpsuit is because that's a, s a sign from society saying that these individuals have done something wrong. So here they have not conformed with society standards and we're going to separate them and, and you're going to know based on this orange color that they've done something differently. And so the koi fish being this color, it's saying that at this time we do need to do things differently and we do need to speak our minds and express ourselves and that's how we're going to pull in these, these people, uh, these connections that are going to be really important to um, carry with us forward. And the koi fish also does speak to this idea of going through a transformation. It's about growth and change. And another thing that stands out in this um, card is these, these women are mostly naked. And you'll notice she has this umbrella, this orange umbrella. And so orange, again, there's that color. It's about standing out. But an umbrella is speaking about this idea of protecting yourself, protecting yourself from... Um, making yourself look like a fool of doing something wrong that's going to get you in trouble. It, it could be a lot of different things. And so the next card plays on this idea, uh, and this is sort of where we are in the present, is releasing allegiances. And again, you'll notice the girl is naked, sort of coming back to that, um, that true self. And she is the only pops of color in this card are the, the gold bracelets and the bees. And bees are representative of, um, they're productive and they work 
in a hive. They work together for the good of their community. And um, so this is sort of about your finding your tribe, you're finding um, your place where you can be of value in, in this society, in the society that you create. And bees, an interesting fact about bees is that they are not actually meant to fly aerodynamically. Bees aren't supposed to be able to fly, yet they can. So it's about releasing those limitations. Again, going back to that umbrella, you know, the, the ways that you protect yourself from failure, um, of, of getting rid of those limitations that you put on yourself. And this also connects to these bracelets. Um, bracelets are speaking of one jewelry is speaking of the things that you value. And so bracelets are talking about how you give and receive and also is that fulfilling to you? And do you have your priorities in order so that you are doing things that are nurturing yourself? And so back to this idea of releasing allegiances, when you make conscious connections, there are going to be certain people that um, aren't going to be okay with the changes that you're you're making. The evolution that you're on um, does not include every single person that you've ever met. And so you might be releasing allegiances to your family, um, different friendships, maybe different community groups that you're involved in. You might be making shifts there to make way for new connections. Um, and this could also be allegiances that you made when you were a child and you just adopted patterns that you picked up from your um, family or your caretakers and you're bringing that into the present but it's no longer serving you as you're moving forward. Um, so it could speak to releasing those types of things. And so for the present card, I actually pulled two cards at the same time they came out together. Um, the first one was, what do you feel? And again, we have this shades of gray color scheme with just the pops of color. Um, we have the orange again. This time it's an orange fruit. So kind of going back to the bee. Uh, fruit. It's finding the sweetness in life. It's finding what feels good to you on a, on a daily basis. Um, you have the green apple um, about nourishing yourself. Also, there's that connection to knowledge. The color green um, with the earth, it's about this natural part of you. So bringing out this part of you that maybe doesn't get to express itself very much. And this is something that I feel in the last video I said over and over again, but when you're pursuing something, it's really about thinking about how do you want to feel at the end of the day? If you're trying to achieve a goal and you're so exhausted at the end of the day, is that really how you want to feel? Or do you want to be pursuing something where it doesn't even make you tired? You could do it all day because it gives you energy. So really thinking about how is it that you want to feel at the end of a day, at the end of a week, and in the very moment that you're doing it. And another thing about the symbolism of this card, um, she's wearing a tie and it's, it's loosened, it's not completely um, tight around her neck and so that's symbolic of how you're letting go of expectations that have been placed on you and other people pulling you in different directions that might not be the way that you actually want to go. So that's a good thing. And the final card that I picked, and again, this is speaking of the future, I pulled these at the same time, is Legacy of Light. And so we had all of these cards that were just the little pops of color, and then here we are with just this really vibrant card. And so Legacy of Light, is speaking to the fact that you being born on this earth, it is your birthright to 
live with passion. It is your birthright to be a light bringer in this world. You do have something of value to give. You are here to serve in a bigger way and you're unique. You have a unique story, you have a unique message, and you've been through specific experiences that are unlike anyone else's. And so that makes you an expert on your own life and with something to share. And so um, the symbolism I really like in this card and how it connects to the other cards is you have a child here, you have sort of an adult, and then you have this elder at the top. And if you are living with ideas that you grew up with as a child um, or that were given to you by your parents or caretakers that aren't serving you, but if you're still living your life with those same messages running through your head of you have to be do this a certain way to get someone's love or approval, that's what's gonna move up through your chakras and that's how you're going to live out your life and your purpose and that higher self. And so when you release the allegiances that you have and when you make conscious connections, not only with your tribe, with other people, but with yourself, by taking time to go in and make that connection with yourself and figure out what it is that you want for your own life, what it is that you desire and how that looks, that is what's going to move up and enable you to take the action and live the steps that are in support with this idea that you are unique and you do have something to share and that you are worth it and you deserve it and you can do it. So I hope you enjoyed these cards and these messages as much as I did. I had a blast um, working with these. Um, I hope to see you in a couple weeks for the full moon video. I will see you soon. Bye.